Breaking news. Aside from the spontaneous questions put to Mr. Putin by Russian and international journalists, a reported 2 million questions were submitted for the event by ordinary Russians and carefully vetted beforehand. A war reporter for Russian Daily Izvestia based in occupied Luhansk in eastern Ukraine tasked Mr. Putin about Ukraine's recent foothold on the Russian-occupied east bank of the Dnipro River. Describing Ukraine's military success in a small area as a last-ditch attempt by Ukraine to break through to Crimea, President Putin explained that Russian forces decided to withdraw several meters into wooded areas to save our lads. He went on to suggest Kiev's main motive is to show the West that it needs more military funding. I don't know why they are doing it, they are pushing their people to get killed, it's a one-way trip for Ukrainian forces. The reasons for this are political, because Ukrainian leaders are begging foreign countries for aid. Mr. Putin said support for Ukraine from its allies was running out. Inside Putin's carefully choreographed phone-in. Today Ukraine produces almost nothing, he said. Excuse my vulgarity, but everything is being brought in as a freebie. But those freebies could run out at some point. And it seems that they are gradually running out. While the Russian leader was speaking, NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg gave a news conference at Alliance headquarters in Brussels where he warned, if Putin wins in Ukraine, there is a real risk that his aggression will not end there. Ukraine President Volodymyr Zelensky warned the EU summit that Mr. Putin would use indecision regarding the Ukraine war against them. People in Europe won't see any benefit if Moscow receives a pass from Brussels in the form of negativity towards Ukraine. Putin will surely use this against you personally, and against all of Europe, Mr. Zelensky said via video link. Mr. Putin went on to claim that Russian forces had the upper hand across the front line in Ukraine. Practically along the entire line of contact our armed forces are improving their situation, to put it modestly, he said at his Marathon News Conference. There has been very little movement on the front line in recent months, but Russia is targeting two eastern towns in the Donetsk region, Mariinka and Avdiivka. Mr. Putin insisted that Russia could move forward despite Western economic sanctions and political isolation stemming from its Ukraine invasion.